Hello everyone. Today I'll be teaching how to solve the 3 by 3 Rubik's Cube. If you don't know how to solve the Rubik's Cube, you'll probably be like, oh, I'm just going to peel the stickers off, or I'll just smash it and put it back together. Um, if you peel the stickers off, that makes your cube look like crap, and if you take it apart, you're not really going to impress, impress anybody. Um, so today I'll be teaching you a legitimate way of solving the cube. A lot of people have the excuse um, for not learning how to solve the Rubik's Cube is they don't want to watch a 20 minute long video on how to solve this thing. Well that's perfectly understandable but today I'll be attempting to teach you how to solve the cube and this video will be hopefully less be less than 10 minutes. Yes, so let's get to that. To solve the cube we need several algorithms and with these algorithms we need notation. So notation is represented with these six faces and each face is represented by a letter. This is the U face, this is the D face, this is the F face, this is the R face, this is the L face, and this is the B face. Uh, this is a U, this is a U prime, this is a U2. So U, a regular letter represents a clockwise turn, a prime represents a counterclockwise turn, and a 2 after that letter represents a 180 turn. So this is a U, the U prime, this is a U2. This is a F, this is a F prime, this is a F2. This is R, this is R prime, this is R2. This is L, this is L prime, this is L2. This is D, this is D prime, this is D2. This is B, this is B prime, this is B2. So that's all the notation you need to know for this video. Our first step in solving the cube is to get the white cross. We'll have a white cross and we'll have these adjacent side, these stickers matching the centers. So these are centers, these are edges, and these are corners. To get the cross, we're going to put the white center on top, and then we're going to look at the D face, so the yellow face. Then we're going to look for any edge that has white on it. So I see this edge has white on it. Then we're going to look on the other sticker that the edge has, it's orange. Then we're going to turn that, we're going to turn the D face so it matches right here. And then we're going to do an F2 to bring it up. Now you have one part of the edge. Now I, I see another one right here. Now even though the white is not on the bottom, you'll see what I'll do in a minute. So you have white here and then it corresponds to color is blue, which is already right there. So when I bring it up, it's flipped, which is not what we want. We want to flip it back. So we'll use this algorithm to flip it. F prime U, L prime U prime. It's that simple. And then I see another one here. And then I would bring this up since it matches the color green. Again, it's not flipped, so I would do this. And then sometimes if you don't see any in the D face, it might be stranded somewhere in this layer. So I see this one, and this one can just be brought up like that. Sometimes you'll have situations like this, where you have these are solved, but these two are not solved. No worries, just bring this down, and then fix, the, uh, fix that up, and then that will bring that down, and then you can fix that up as well. Our next step is going to be simply getting the entire white face with these side stickers matching. So we're going to put the corners in into the corresponding slots. So first what you want to do is take the white side and turn it 180 degrees like that so the white yellow is on top. Then we're going to look for a corner on the top face with white on it. So I see this one. Then I'm going to bring it to the corresponding slot. See, as you can see, it's white, grit, red, blue. And over here the centers are white, red, blue. So that means this corner has to go here. And so to put this in here, we're going to use an algorithm that we're going to repeat over and over. And this algorithm is essentially R, U, R prime, U prime. So we're going to keep repeating that until this corner gets into the, this slot properly. And there we go. We put it in properly. Next, we're going to do it again. I see this one. We're going to put that in. And we're going to repeat that algorithm. There we go, we put it there. And sometimes you may have situations like this, where this will be here, and you have to just put these here. No worries, just do the algorithm once with this, and now you have a corner with white on it on the top. And now you could just put that in. And there you go, so you have one side. And this is the first time you can actually legitimately say you finish one side of the Rubik's Cube. Next, we're going to begin the second layer of the cube, so the cube looks like this. To do that, we're going to look for any edge on the yellow face that does not have yellow on it. So I see this one. Then I look at the color that's in front of me and turn it to ma so it matches its center, like that. Then this edge has to either go here or here. And you can see that this edge has to go here. We have two algorithms for this, one to put in the left, one to put in the light. Right. The one that puts in the left is U prime, L prime, U, 
L U F U prime F prime like that. Now to put it on the right like this one, you would do U R U prime R prime U prime F prime U F like that. Now sometimes you'll be in the proper place like this, but flipped. When you, when this happens, just position it like this and do the um, alg the algorithm that puts this edge into there. And now you have this edge out of there. So now you could just repeat and by positioning this edge in the proper place. And there you go. Next, we're going to be getting a yellow cross, but these sides do not have to match up. I'll just this cross. So to do this, we're going to have one of two cases of three cases. Either you're going to have a dot right here. You're going to have an L shape like this. You're gonna have a bar like this, and those are the, so those are the three cases. So to get the dot, you're gonna use this algorithm: F R U R prime U prime F prime. That's the algorithm, and that will turn it into an L shape. And position now position the L like this. Not well, yeah. Position the L like this. And do the algorithm again. Now you have a bar. Now do the algorithm again. And you have a cross. Next up, you're going to get the entire yellow face, but not quite, because you still have to fix these sides right here. Now, you're going to be using an algorithm that is R, U, R prime, U, R, U2, R prime. Now, you're going to do this algorithm based on the orientation of the four corners on the cube, like these. And your orientation depends on whether they have yellow on top or on the sides. So if there are no corners with on top, then you're going to take one of the corners and put it on the left like so so that the yellow is facing this way then you're going to do the algorithm that will lead you to a case where you only have one corner orientated place that corner in the bottom left right there and then do the algorithm and now you'll have the whole entire yellow soft sometimes you'll have two only two when this happens, place one of the yellows in front like this, and I'll do the algorithm. Do the algorithm again, and do the algorithm again. There you go, now you have a proper yellow face. In this next step, we're going to be solving the corners of the yellow face. To do this, we're going to be looking for a pair of matching corners like this, that have the same color. Then we're going to be using this algorithm by putting these two in the back. R prime, F, R prime, B2, R, F prime, R prime, B2, R2. And that will hopefully fix all the corners like that. And sometimes you'll have a case where you see no, none, you don't see a pair of corners that are the same. When this happens, just do the algorithm once. And now you should have a pair of corners that are the same. This and this, like that. And through this step, you should have all the corners correct. Now is the final step to solving the Rubik's Cube. This final step will only require one algorithm. The algorithm is R, U prime, R, U, R, U, R, U prime, R prime, U prime, R2. This algorithm will switch three edges counterclockwise like this. This edge will go to here, this edge will go to here, this edge will go to here. You can use this to solve any case. So as you can see, you use this to solve this case. You can also use it to solve it clockwise by simply doing this algorithm twice and again. Sometimes you'll have a case like this where you have to swap these two, swap these two, and now just for here just do the algorithm once and it should be clear what to do from here. You also may have this case. You have to swap these two, you have to swap these two. When this happens, just do the algorithm. And then, again. And there, that's how you solve a Rubik's Cube. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please subscribe, like, and favorite this video. Uh, I hope you found this video helpful if you've been trying to solve a Rubik's Cube. And hopefully I didn't waste a lot of your time by making you watch uh, an hour long video on how to solve this bad boy. So... That's all I have to say. See you later.